Welcome to part 17 of Scotland's Ain Kingly Houses. Queen Mary, as in the most well kent and most controverted rulers of Scotland. House of the Stuart, Hod and Gone. Mary the First, 1542-1567. Born on the 7th December 1542 in Lithgay Palace, West Lothian, she was a daughter and a lawful heir of James V and Mary of Guise. Mary became queen at just six days old. On 3rd of January 1543, James Hamilton, Earl of Arran, near a kin to Mary, was made governor of the Kinrick. The Ingalls king, Henry the Echt, knew put for it his ploy to have Mary married on his son and through the lassie rule Scotland. Aaron could be a sapsy, offered Henry's daughter Elizabeth for his son, or hence a mere weir, he gied in till Henry's fleeching. With the treaties of Greenwich, agreed on 1st July 1543, Mary would marry the Sutheran prince, but the Ingalls king demanded the Scots break with France and send Mary to England. The Queen Dowria, Mary of Guise, and Cardinal Dovet Beaton the heeds of the French party, now broke Aaron over to their side, and wee Queen Mary was crooned on the 9th of September 1543 at Stirling Castle to make a pint to the Ingalls about sovereignty. In the December, Parliament elided the treaty on the grounds that the Ingalls had clocked Scots shipping. It was bad enough that Henry the Ech deluged to sell another Langshanks, but for tacking a ding to the harms in 1536, he became an ill kind of tyrant that slochtered his ain folk. So he didn't swither to slochter Scotland's folk and all. In May 1544, the English king loused a vicious invasion on Scotland, for to give the Scots their heeds and their horns. Leith, Embra and Hallyrood was set alow and signed the boroughs of Dunbar, Hedenton, and others. The Ingalls took Jethart and Kelsey, so Aaron gave to the Merches, and on the 17th February 1545, vanquished the Ingalls at the Fecht at Ancrum Muir. But in September 1545, the Ingalls come back with another army. The Earl of Hertford, New Brunt, Dryborough, Kelsey, Melrose, and Jethart, and war. The crop of 1545 was hashed at the hearst, laying the folk scant of victuals. The Hendrian sent Protestant preachers, such as George Wishart, into Scotland to steer up any reformers that might favour England. Already the Queen's Council was flagged with balance, prose works and letters that disputed heeds of the Bible. Wishart was brunt for heresy at St Andre's with Cardinal Beaton on the 1st of March, 1546. Well, on the 29th of May, Norman Leslie, son of the Earl of Rothes, along with his foliars, go in gate to St Andre's Castle, brack into Beaton's chomer and stick at him to death. The murderers took the castle and held it again Aaron's siege, until July 1547, when a fleet of French galleys cathed, siege it, and took the castle. The murderers, with their preacher John Knox, was sent to the galleys. Henry of England had got his ally, Emperor Charles, to declare weir against Scotland in 1544. But Charles soon took the rue at the scathe Scots men of weir did to his shipping. In particular, the weir surly fashed the folk of the lake countries that's tread lippin' on gids for Scotland. And our money Scots merchants was making a profit out attacking Dutch ships. Henry the Echt had deed, but the weir gaed on. In September 1547, the Ingalls invaded under the Duke of Summerside, but an army under Aaron, Angus and Huntley was defeat at Pinky Cluch by Inneresk on the 10th of September. Huntley was captured, and when asked what he thought of the marriage ploy, 
He said he had no liking for England's Roch Winchin. English ships captured Broch de Castle by Dundee, and in February 1548, the borough of Haydentoun. It was England's etel new to hod Scotland doon through captured strengths, so Scotland was driven into the arms of France. King Henry II of France offered help, as lang as Queen Mary was married on his son Francis instead. Francis was Henry's son by Catherine of Medici, born on the 19th of January 1544. With the Treaty of Haydentoun on the 7th July 1548, Mary was sent to be reared up at the French court. With a French army new in Scotland, the Weir turned again England. In September 1549, they forleet the headquarters at Haydentoun and agreed to peace in 1550. The same year, Emperor Charles agreed peace with Scotland on behalf of the Dutch Toons. In November 1548, Queen Mary had been sent to bide in France. King Henry was fast that she can't nay French, and broke in servants to learn her the lead. In fact, she learnt Greek, Italians, Latin and Spanish, and were her own folk spake Scots. Her mother, Mary Guise, came over to France in 1550 and bade a year. She was the heedmaste advocate for the French alliance, and in April 1554 took over for Aaron as governor, after a hantel loofs had been creased. French policy was well seen. Scotland would be to France what the Netherlands was to Spain. By the mid-1550s, some French had been appointed to Ken speckle positions. Dozo, the French ambassador, had an undue say over political matters, while French soldiers held Blackness, Dunbar and Leith. By 1557, Mary Guise was wanting taxes to pay for soldiers in big new forts. When Henry of France gave to weir with Spainy the same year, he wanted Scotland to mark weir on England that Queen Mary was married to Philip of Spainy. The Scots nobles would he nanny it. Now the ordinary folk had tain to con the French for Othin. The Protestant lords, now crying themselves the lords of the congregation, came out in favour of preachers that had founded congregations along the east coast. When Mary Guise tried to daunt in them, she just steered folk against French and Catholic rule. On the 24th of April 1558, Queen Mary and Francis was married to Notre Dame's Heathkirk in Paris. Francis was 14 year old, while Mary was 15. In Hidlands, Mary signed a deal whereby she left Scotland to the French crown, gin she deed athout Burns. No long after, the Twasom took on the Arams and title at England on the grounds that Elizabeth of England was born out a lawful marriage. In May of 1559, Protestant preachers in Scotland gave a deep lug when summoned before the council. New heed it by the Earl of Arran and Mary's half-brother, Lord James Stuart, they gathered an army and blattered with the French soldiers in Scotland. In July... After making peace with Spain, King Henry of France was riding in the rink when he took a scalp to the E and signed deed in command in pain. This made Francis and Mary King and Queen of France. In October, the Lord of the Congregation declared the demission of Mary of Guise for office, but had to make a contract with the Ingalls at Berwick on the 27th of February 1560 for the Arams to uphold the freedom of the Kinrick. A small Ingalls fleet licked it on the coast, and in the march an Ingalls army came the length of Embra and sieged the French in Leith. But what changed Othin was the death of Mary of Guise in Embra Castle on the nicht of the 11th of June for a disease of the heart aged 44. Laid out in St Margaret's Chapel, it wasn't until March 1560 yin that her book was tamed to France 
and buried at Reims. The Treaty of Embra, agreed on the 6th of July, 1560, provided that both the French and Ingalls lee Scotland, that a parliament be held, and Francis and Mary gee up title to England. The parliament held in August cried down the authority of the Pope, brack for Rome, made Catholic Mass unlawful, and took on a Calvinist confession of faith. Unlike England, where the break for Rome was done for the tap doon, in Scotland the break was made athoot the Queen. Mary was na lang Queen of France for her man Francis II deed on the 5th December 1560, when his harms took artery through a bad lug. He was just 16. The Lord James Stuart heeded the nobles that knew ask it Mary to come home, say lang as she tolerated the new religion. This was the Kinrick Mary come home till in August 1560 in. When she tried to hear mass at Hallyrood, it caused a small stushy, and Lord James had to stand at the door to turn the steerers awaw. Sign Mary gied the gallus preacher John Knox a hearing at the palace. She wasn't used to rockal language, and the trist left her begrutten, but Mary set out to maester her land. In 1562, she gied the earldom of Murray to her brother Lord James, but George Gordon Earl of Huntley had its estates and income under his administration and wouldn't gie them up. Huntley was lord over the Heedmace Catholic family, with thousands of men in his ocht, and he thought the Queen was na a nuch to keep the faith. His son, Sir John Gordon, was a present chiel that thought he didn't hate to answer for his feuds. The Queen came north till Inverness, where the Gordon Keeper wouldn't let her bend the castle until Huntley sent word. Sir John Gordon had gathered foliers north of Aberdeen, Bowden and Fear Weir, an act that left the Queen beelin. When she gave to Aberdeen, Huntley made to merch south. Lord James and William Maitland of Lethington led an army out the town and fought Huntley at Corrigy on the 28th of October. Huntley was taken prisoner, but while his horse was led for it, he took a shock and drap it deed to the grun. They broke his corp till Embra, where stood up in its deed kist in the middle of the parliament, had sentence of forfeiture passed over it. Queen Mary was scun at sign at the ugsome sicht y a footer and heedsman tacken heedaf Sir John Gordon. James Earl of Murray was now the Queen's a best counsellor and for the next twa year help at her ert policy. But Mary's search for a new man threatened Murray's position. The courts of Austrich, Denmark, France, Spain and Sweden all put in for her horn, but at the hinner end she fell for Henry Stuart Lord Dernley. The eldest son of Matthew Stuart, Fort Earl of Lennox and Margaret Douglas, he had been born on the 7th December 1545 in England. Through his mother, Dernley had a claim on the throne of England like Mary. The Tom of Mary due to Hallyrood on the 29th July 1565 but Murray led a rising again the Queen in the August, and Queen Mary had to chase him about till Murray fled into England. By the back end of 1565, though, Mary had fun out hour late the nature of the chiel she had married. He was petted, couldn't be fashed with Mater's estate, bade a waffy council and war for the Queen's good name, gade drinking and hooring at Necht and Embra. She lippent mer nor ever on men sick as James Heburn Earl of Bothwell, Lord Hume, and her Italian secretary, Davy Rizzio. The causey clash hid it that the Queen was our friendly with Maester Rizzio, a chill that Dernley thought had used up at his place. The Queen was a lot of four feet Murray and his pertackers at her niece Parliament, so they collogued with Dernley to do a war with Rizzio. Pardon Murray, and gie Dernley the croon. 
on the night of the 9th of March, 1566, while the Queen was tacking her supper in Hallyrood, Dernley, along with Patrick Lord Riven and the foliers of James Douglas Earl of Morton, burst it in, coping chairs and boards, and stick it the greeting Rizzio in front of Mary and her ladies, afore flinging his bloody corp down the stair, and the Queen wheel gain with her bairn and awe. Their lords thought to hate ourance of Scotland through Dernley, but Mary threep it, they would dee a war with him. So the twa escape it for Hallyrood, and the lords fled into England. The Queen came back to Embra, and there, in a small chomer in the castle, gied birth to her son cried James on the 18th of June, 1566. She thought to break the mocht of the rebel lords, and gied her brother Murray a pardon. Dernley was na muckle yes till her, and by the end of 1566 took counsel for Murray and others, and ain't the best ways at ending her marriage. A queen of drumly lords, Bothwell, Morton and Murray, jalused it would be better to kill Dernley, the man that had betrayed them. On the night of the 10th of February, 1567, Dernley's legends at Kirkafield in Embra was blown up, and Dernley fun deed in the garden. Historians jaluses that Morton's men smoored Dernley while he tried to get a war. A queen of clavers was new spread that Bothwell had carried out the deed with Mary's ken. In April, when Mary was travelling for Stirling to Lembra, Bothwell kithed with his men and took her, Moni said, weaked again her will, to Dunbar. Mary knew Stamigaster Obde, be marrying on Bothwell at Hallerud on the 15th of May, 1567. Mary's new man was aged about 30 yin, and was the son of Patrick the Fair Earl of Bothwell and Agnes Sinclair. Money nobles under Murray took up Erams, but when they met at Carberry on the 15th of June 1567, Mary's army started to traipse hame. After seeing Bothwell off the field, she ran up and was broked at the hinner end to the island castle of Loch Leven. Here, on the 24th July 1567, she was made to demit the crown in favour of her son, and Murray was proclaimed governor on the 22nd of August. Murray's half-brother, Sir William Douglas, held Mary a prisoner, but his brother, Sir George Douglas, fell for Mary, and he and a cousin, Wally Douglas, help at Mary get a war a necht, rowing her o'er the loch to friends and freedom. She raised men and folk Murray at Langside by Glasgow on the 13th of May 1568, for she was defeat, and sign fled till England. Elizabeth of England swithered her wit today with her guest for the next 19 year. Mary was at the Hida Ilka Catholic plot again the Elizabethan until tried and hid it on the 8th of February. 1587 at Fotheringay Castle, aged 44. She was buried in Westminster Abbey in London. Her man Bothwell had died years afore on the 14th April 1578 in the jail at Dragsholm Castle, Denmark, 